Reverse State Governor Hiesome Ezawike has declared that Nigerians must unite and motivate the Nigerian armed forces to defeat the insurgents in the Northeast. Governor Wike also directed the Secretary to the Reverse State Government to work out modalities for the state government to support the Nigerian Legion and soldiers of Reverse State origin who pay the ultimate price. The Reverse State Governor also announced that the state government has committed the sum of 100 million naira for the scholarship program dedicated to the children of the fallen heroes. He spoke on Wednesday during the Ruth Lane ceremony in commemoration of the 2020 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration at the Isaac Borough Park, Pawtucket. War on terror in the Northeast has raged for too long, claiming too many military and civilian victims. We must come together as a nation to do whatever that is necessary to support and motivate our soldiers to win this terrible war as quickly as possible and save the nation and our brothers, sisters, and the children for the Northeast for the continued violence, abductions, and devastation by Boko Haram and their affiliates. Apart from supporting the establishment of the Trust Fund, I would like to say to the government to work out areas of support to the third chapter of the Nigerian Legion and the families of soldiers of River State origin who pay the ultimate price and the active service of our country. In addition, the state government will provide scholarship for their children up to university level. And on this note, based on the address of the chairman of the Legion, the state government commits $100 million for the scholarship of the children of the Legion. I have also requested for Secretariat, we will not allow you to have a secretariat at Azikburu Park. We want to turn it to a tourist center. We will provide where we will hold in our remembrance and the, and the synotype so that every time we want to have armed forces, we will be there. So don't convert that place. We will not give you there. We will find somewhere. If you find somewhere, we will be able to see what we can do for you. Governor Wiki said that the nation remembers the members of the armed forces for their contributions to the unity of the country. The nation, we are grateful to you. As a state, we cannot thank you enough. And as a people, we forever venerate you and your families for violent services and sacrifice for us all. Yes, we are here for customary remembrance rituals, but for us, this cannot be enough. The greatest honor we can give in return for your service and sacrifice is for us to continue to work together for national peace, unity, cohesion. That's what the military signifies, which essence and ideas are what we must rededicate ourselves to advance for the progress of our country. The governor said that the ceremony gives Nigerians the opportunity to reflect on the sacrifices and contributions made by the armed forces in the service of the country. But for the extraordinary courage and devotion to the unity and instability of our country, but Nigerian armed forces, those who served during the Civil War, and those who continue to join us all to date, there will have been no Nigeria today to call our own country and celebrate as the leader and hope of the entire black race. Today, we can confirm that it is the patriotic operations of the armed forces of Nigeria on land, air, and in our creeks that are largely responsible for the improved and sustainable peace and security that we're enjoying across river states and its environs. What is most significant is the extraordinary courage to still render this duty, knowing that the end could result in death. Indeed, if one may ask what or which service and sacrifice for a people, for humanity, can be greater than this, for anyone to die for the sake of his or her friend. The chairman of the River State Command of the Nigerian Legion, ACG Justice Chichi thanked the River State Governor for his extraordinary kindness towards the welfare and support of ex-servicemen and families of the fallen heroes. We cannot thank you enough for the extraordinary kindness which you have always shown towards 
the welfare and support to, of our people in the state since assumption of office. Your Excellency have demonstrated such gestures through various avenues, amongst which are the release of the sum of 83 million naira only, being 2019 donations for the welfare of our members, widows and dependents of fallen heroes. The donation and release of a brand new Toyota Coastal bus for the Legion. Sustenance of our members engaged as security personnel at the River State Secretariat complex. Prompt and regular payment of our office accommodation rent, etc. These notable, laudable, and remarkable achievements, to mention but a few, underscores His Excellency's concern for the welfare of the downtrodden in the society. Hence, we join in saying, you are one of a kind. He called on the River State Governor to assist the Legion with financial support for the sustenance of scholarships for the children of the fallen heroes. Appeal for your financial support to our pilot scholarship scheme as to enable sustenance of the children of our fallen heroes in schools. This scheme is directly in line with His Excellency's passion for human capital development and educational policy of the River State Government as evidently seen. The Legion chairman also appealed to the River State Governor to build a secretariat for the Legion. Earlier in the day, River State Governor led service commanders and leaders of the state to participate in the Wreath Lane ceremony. Governor Wiki also released pigeons as a sign of peace. There was a 21-gun salute in honor of the fallen heroes.